Okay, everybody, we're here with uh, Brian and Shane, and we're going to be unlocking and unboxing the new Gear VR. It's the virtual reality headset that works in conjunction with select Samsung phones. Brian, if you will. If I can. Open the box. Careful. So here is our virtual reality thing that you put your phone in. This will go on your head. This is a protective thing for now. And this is the little strap that goes around it so you can put it on your head. Yeah. So we got those. We've also got another string if you have a large head. Instruction manual, it looks like. Yeah. How to um, use it, health and safety, warranty guide, and all that stuff. Yeah, we don't need that stuff. Yeah, we don't need it. We're going right. to be taking a look at this thing. All right, so why don't you undo those straps, and we'll get the straps on there. Okay. There should be a side you can, like, pull a tab off of. There you go. Okay, so that goes on. That's on the top of the head, so you'll need the other piece in first. That one's a little harder to get off. It's actually through one of the slots. So. But a pair of scissors. Get in there. There we go. Okay, so this is the bottom one, it looks like. Yeah. So here, I'll help you out since I've already done one of these. So this little guy clips to the top. That one clips in the top, guys. Yeah, so push this down, push that down. There you go. Let's this one look, looks like okay. it goes so you have to un you have to undo, undo the Velcro. It. Oh, I see what we do. And make Here. sure it's it's lined up right, honey. Yeah. So this has to be on top. Right. So there you go. Like that. Yep. Yeah. So did you un un Velcro it? Yeah. All right. And slide it in. This way. It actually moves. Yep. Yeah. No. Nope. That's the way. Okay, guys, I haven't done this, so... All the way through. There you go. Strip it on. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And then you take your other one and do the same thing. Okay, good. And it's all Velcro. Okay, where's the top piece? You'll have this. There and it is. Then you'll have the top piece, and you'll do the same with it. But you don't twist it. Since it's already on velcro yeah. And you're going to do this exact same thing that you did with the others. There you go. Alright. Now, if this doesn't fit you, you can always tighten it. If this might not fit us. Alright, that's okay. So, so let's get take the front off. Let's take the plastic yeah. thing off, guys. Alright. So this is sort of a yeah. dust cake, dust cover. We just set that to the side for now. Um, and then this, there's the insides. This is where you can like plug it in, I think, to charge or something. Yeah, that's where you have to plug the phone in. So this doesn't work without another device, namely one of the Samsung um, S series. This slides back so you can put it in. Okay, so here. Ryan, you're going to take the camera and just point it down here. Okay. So I can show them how this piece works. All right. So this little guy just lifts up and it lines up to your phone at the bottom. Oops. Get in there. Okay, you'll hear a beep. And then all you have to do is just push this guy down and it clicks in place. So now you're all set. Everything else happens. Now on the outside of this guy. So the first thing you'll have to do is once you plug it in, it'll ask you to take it right back out and start installing applications. So we'll go ahead and do that. Take the phone back out. All right. And if you'll notice on the phone, it starts up sort of a Gear VR wizard. It's going to download a little bit of stuff. I think she's on Wi-Fi, which is perfect. That's what we want. And Morky barking, which is which is in every single one of our videos. Um, I agree to uh, whatever nasty things they want to do to us, and it's going to download. Now, while this thing downloads, let's take a look at the hardware of this guy specifically. It's got a very nice padded face mask. Yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll, we'll put it on you in a minute. There's a pass-through power charger here, so if you want to actually use it while it's charging, there's a little tiny charger there. 
this is sort of a this isn't a d-pad there's nothing to click but it's sort of a tap sensitive control so when they tell you to tap the center or stroke backwards or forwards or up or down it's all in the tutorial there's a back button this is a physical button on the top this lets you bring in uh, closer or further away these eyelets that's what lets you um see them properly all right we'll take these little plastic thingies off of here so we're ready for use i don't think the outside has one all right, great. So um, everything else is pretty straightforward. So really fitting it on your head and using this adjuster to get the proper visual is pretty much the hardest part there is about the whole thing. We're almost done with our download now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tighten this up to Brian's head. All right, so go ahead, Brian, if you'll put that on. All right, so... It's all blurry. That's okay, so. it's going to be because there's nothing in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull the straps. This will be kind of hard to see. I need like four people videotaping in here. Hopefully that's setting up right so you can see. I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna kind of tighten them at the same time, snug them up to his head, not too tight, It'll probably give him headaches. And then here at the top, same idea. We're just, see how loose that is? We're gonna just go ahead and Tighten this thing up. This is weird. I thought it was kind of upside down. It looks like, but it's okay. So yeah, you'll use right. this. You, you stroke back and stuff. During the setup, Wizard Brian's going to tell us what he's seeing. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we have to create an account. So I'm going to create a, an account for my wife. Uh, let's see. Oops. And if you guys are thinking, like, why is he just rocking his head back and forth? Well, I can't see anything. I just see blurriness. Colors of blurs. No, I know. It's because there's nothing to see. No, I know how Han Solo feels. Really? I'd already created my other account online ahead of time. You might want to do the same thing if you're planning on getting one of these. Easier than doing it on the phone. Basically, name, some sort of a password, login uh, thing, create a pin. Oops. All right, the account is created, getting a verification email. Oh. Feels so much better? Yes. She is good to actually have. Of course I spelled her name wrong. We'll be right back with the video. Dimensional. Alright, so we've got our Oculus account set up. We've got the phone back into the headgear. And my son is going to fall off the chair looking around like that. Alright, so what's it, what do you see, Brian? Um, health and safety warning, read and follow warnings. But I'm like sitting in a, a chair like... Okay, don't look around. Just are you tuned in? Is your are you dialed in so everything looks fairly clear? Um, yep. Okay. Wait. The phone we're using is yep. the Samsung Galaxy S7. Okay, now I see welcome. Let's take a quick tour. Perfect. I want you to tell me what you're seeing. Tap the touchpad on the right side of your headset. Okay. There it is. You feel it? Yeah, look at the donut and tap the touchpad as well. Okay, so it's telling him to look at something and tap, so it's teaching him how to select. Yep, I'm selecting now. Awesome, you know how to select. Swipe forward on the touchpad. Swipe forward to find the cactus. So now it's making him rotate through images until he Swipe finds the right one. to find the mountain. Donut. So he's doing pretty good. Lightning bolt. There's quite a bit of work you can do even with this little touchpad. Now there, it does uh, accept Bluetooth controllers, which we'll probably show later in the video. Yeah, it's weird. I can see like the sky and stuff. Okay, let's keep pay attention. What are we well, doing now? Welcome. You just learned how to move through a menu. Perfect. Swipe down on touchpad. Swipe down to see more. Now swipe back up. Wait, it's amazing just how quick. How to scroll up and down. It's amazing how quick they to get to, back, use to the new technology. Press the back button above the touchpad. Feel it? Get to push it in. There you go. Ooh, you just learned how to go back. 
Press and hold the back button to see your universal menu. Settings, pass the camera, 100%, 70%, be alright. Now I'm in like outer space. Okay, so there should be an icon to the upper left. Once you look at that, it should say home to Oculus Home or something like that. Exit to Oculus Home. Okay, there you go. So tap it. Got it. Great, you just learned how to open the universal menu. You completed the touchpad tour. Would you like a tour of the gamepad? Just say no, because we don't have yeah. one right now. Okay. Now I'm at home. Oh, wow, it's a huge screen. <laughs> so what do you see? Um, can I look around? Yeah, I mean, just be careful. Um, there's a table and chairs back there. Like some sort of greenish walk pad. I can see like a carish figure. Okay, so what about menus and stuff? What are we seeing for menus? What are we at here? Um, jump, featured jump, lost cities, next. VR, a Calculus 360 photos, a Calculus video tutorial library, Samsung store, home store library. Okay, so look, look at your library and tap and let's see what you have in there, if anything. Okay. Curcu de Soleil. Cirque du Soleil, you can go ahead and tap that. Okay, hit start. It's loading. Okay, so what he's downloading is a is a, a video. It, it's not interactive, but it'll feel like he's on the stage at a Cirque du Soleil show, and he'll be able to see some guys flying around on wires. I can't see anybody. I can't see a anything. I could just see. Okay, tap to download. Huh? Did you get it? I think you now missed it's it. Now it's downloading. Download content. And check notifications for progress. So it's almost done. So these videos, um, there's several of them. There's things like Star Wars and Jurassic Park, which are just to give you a yeah. little tutorial, we, to we, sort of see what you can see. Most of them um, are about 200 to 400 megabytes. So you'll want to have quite a bit of space free on your phone. How we doing? Almost done. Okay, and I want you, while you're in the experience, I want you to tell them what you're experiencing. Got it. What you're seeing, I want you to look around and tell them all the good stuff. I'm good at talking. Yeah, we know. Okay, we're done downloading. Tap to play. Okay, did okay, you get it? Tapped. All right. I so, hear I hear music. It's a lot better to have headphones on. Whoa! Tell us what you're seeing. People are setting up stuff. They're sitting on the floor. I'm in like a seat at the front. People are sitting down and like entertaining. Oh, they're waiting for it. Curtains are pulling back and they're like, wow. And then two people are coming out. Someone's talking to me. Two circus men are here. Now they're performing. They're doing like acrobatics and stuff. Now they're going up into the air with a rope and stuff. What are the people doing around you? Um, they're sitting and watching. And they're doing more acrobatics. Someone's back in the background cleaning the seat. <laughs> No, seriously. Oh, people are standing up to watch them because they're like flying. Oh, the lights are turning down. And now, a virtual reality experiment by Felix and Paul. Yeah, so, credits. So, yeah, credits. Alright, so use the back button to tap yourself back out of it because all you're going to see is credits at this point. Okay. Alright, so. To, I call us home, yes. Yep. So now, why don't you go and download that um, that bait game, the fishing games, and I'm, I'm going to let you play that. We'll what is it called? It's called Bait. Bait. You bait. probably have to go to the Oculus Store. Oh, step back. Are you bait. at the store right now? Nope. I'm at the store right now. Okay. 
Okay, bait, bait, yep, bait. Yep, you see it? It should be like on the front page. <laughs> yeah, try not to have an attack. All right, so you got to go along and tell us what you're seeing and stuff. Okay, I don't see anything yet. Oh, um, I see a bait. I'm like on the island board. There's um, a boat, tax, taxi boat, lighthouse, Big Co. Bay Island, Canyon Co., huge boat, taxi boat. Um, there's a big swing on this glam island, and right. I'm playing right now. New game. And let's see what we have here. Don't see anything yet. Oh, I'm like, I'm sitting down on the red seat. I hear a phone. Look to your left, there's an exclamation point. Look at it and tap. Hello, it's Miss Hart. Sorry to send so, you away. So, there's a big okay, screen. Let, let her, let her talk. Okay, so you gotta okay. tap the little continue thing. Happy to help, where do I start? It didn't say it. Well, first you need to learn how to fish. I'll show you. Start by closing this conversation. Look at the pulsing button below and tap to click it. Okay, so... So this is a lot like um, yeah, um, Animal Crossing type hard. fishing. See the fish coming for your bait? Yeah. So when the thing is underwater, I get it. Got it. You're supposed to scroll backwards. There you go. Good. Don't let the meter get too red or he'll break away. Got it. I got a tangerine tang. Weight 3 pounds. Value 150. Record on um, 2 stars. New fish. Um, good, good job. job. I'm not trying to catch three fish on you. So, go it in. Wait until it's completely underwater. No, go over to you. Got it. What do you think? Is that fun? Yeah. I got a Hercule Queen fish. New fish. Okay. Now I'm supposed to catch two more fish. I'm going to throw it right here. And this is actually on par for those I know you can't see. Maybe I'll try to do like an inset graphic of the uh, of a bait game in progress if they've got yeah, one. Yeah, there's like a little building over on the other side. It probably is about Wii graphics. What would you say, Brian? The quality of the Wii game? It's good. It's, yeah. It's pretty good. It's not fantastic, but it's it's... Good though, right? Don't you think? I think so. Yeah. Oh, got one. Um, I could just wave it everywhere when I do my head thing. I got a zebra tuna. Whoa! 18 pounds. It's a three star fish. Okay, now I gotta catch another one. So this can go on for a while. We're gonna stop the video. What? There's like a little fishy fish that you can use as a bait for the big fish. And I'm just waving my rod back and forth. Okay, let me catch one more fish and then we'll stop the video and then we'll resume when I'm done and we'll do some more stuff. Just let me catch this one fish. I can feel a fish right near it. So a lot of people's questions about Gear VR is are there actually any games or are they just a series of tech demos? As you can see, this fishing game is actually fairly well thought out. There are some games like oh, Dread Hall that actually offer a lot more of an immersive experience. Um, there's tons and tons of video. A lot Got of the, the large video sites like Twitch and uh, Vimeo, Netflix, and Hulu all support watching content on a simulated big screen using the Gear VR. Another one of the Haryo Queen fish. 
So we'll resume later, guys. All right. So we're gonna take it off for now.